Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another wicked mind read video on our awesome channel. We're so glad you could join us today for another exclusive video countdown. Imagine being solidified in a beautiful, cool way. An icy kind of way, actually. Sounds cold. Sometimes nature has a way of keeping biological creatures and plants by covering them in ice and leaving them frozen in what we might call stasis. And today, we're going to show you the top 10 animals frozen in ice and how absolutely amazing they look. It's as if they're still alive and captured in a moment of time as if they'd never left us. Some of them did live, in fact, but we'll show you. You're gonna love this, so let's get started. Ready? Here we go. Number 10. Alrighty. Number 10 shows us this footage of this American alligator. It was captured in North Carolina in January of 2019. Lakes and rivers froze over, and at Swamp Park, 18 were found completely frozen and immovable until the ice melted and they were freed. And super amazingly, they kept their nose upwards, pointing them at right angles before the point of freezing to keep themselves alive. <laughs> wow, huh? The American alligator is sometimes referred to colloquially as a gator, or known as a common alligator and is a large crocodilian reptile mostly found in southeastern regions of the United States. It is one of the two living species in the genus alligator within the family Alligatoridae, and it's bigger than the other alligator species known as the Chinese alligator. Number nine. At spot number nine, we have this amazing animal, a cool little turtle found in January of 2018. Known as a massive snapping turtle, it was found in an Arkansas lake in the United States, and it was snapped frozen as the temperatures became freezing cold, trapping it underneath the surface. A group of duck hunters who were traveling on the lake found the turtle, and Jonathan Evans risked his life by walking across the ice to investigate the three-foot reptile. Turtles have a slow metabolism, which means they breathe differently to humans and they can breathe through their backside, an amazing type of respiration that's unique to the species. In fact, turtles can stay alive for 100 days this way, and so when the lake unfroze, this little guy actually survived, and we love that. What a cool guy. Turtles are reptiles of the order Testodines, characterized by a special bony or cartilaginous shell developed from their ribs which acts as a shield. Turtle may refer to the order as a whole or to fresh water and sea dwelling Testodines. The order known as Testodines includes both extant, still alive today, and extinct, not alive on earth any longer, species. Number eight. At the number eight spot, we have this beautiful and rare animal, a baby woolly mammoth dubbed Liuba and a name so because us humans just love to name our finds, right? Yeah, we do. Baby Liuba was only one month old and was found by a reindeer herder in 2007 on the Amal Peninsula in the heart of freezing cold Siberia. The woolly mammoths roamed the earth about 48,000 years ago, and amazingly, the skin, eyes, and trunk of the baby were found completely intact. The woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, is an extinct species of mammoth that lived during the Pleistocene until its extinction in the early Holocene epoch. It was one of the last animals to survive in a line of mammoth species, beginning with Mammothus subplaniferans in the early Pliocene. The woolly mammoth diverged from the steppe mammoth about 400,000 years ago in East Asia. Its closest, still alive, relative is the Asian elephant. The overall appearance and behavior of this species are among the best studied in any prehistoric animal, and this is due to the discovery of frozen carcasses in Siberia and Alaska, as well as skeletons, teeth, inner contents, dung, and their vivid depiction of life in prehistoric cave paintings. Number seven. At the seventh spot in our countdown, we have these wicked fish. Here we can see how one fish was eating another fish in a frozen lake in Indiana, where two fishermen discovered the colossal find. A pike and a perch were found together, and the pike had almost completely swallowed the second in this amazing piece of real life art. How cool does it look? Have you seen anything like it? Comment below for us so we can hear your amazing story. The fishermen posted the pic on social media where they got some people who disbelieved their find and so they decided to film themselves cutting it out of the ice to show its reality. The video shows the frozen fish looking truly epic within an ice block. We absolutely love this footage, and we can't believe that these fish became so frozen in time at the exact moment one was swallowing the other. Nature really has an amazing way of showing itself through its own icy screenshots, and we just love this one. Number six. Yep, number six is definitely here, and this animal is the moose. Where are these two meese? These two moose tangled horns in the river and were found in Alaska, apparently. A local resident explained how the two animals got into a fight and locked horns, becoming stuck together as the temperature solidified, trapping them in the ice without their escape occurring in time. The moose, North America, or elk, Eurasia, is a member of the New World deer subfamily and is the largest and heaviest species in the deer family. Moose are distinguished by the broad, palmate, open hand-shaped, antlers of the males, whereas other inclusions of the deer family have antlers with a dendritic, twig-like makeup. The moose inhabits boreal forests, and temperature broadleaf and mixed forest of the northernmost hemisphere. 
In temperature to semi-arctic climates, today, most moose are located in Canada, New England, Alaska, Fenoscandia, Baltic states, and Russia. Their diet consists of various types of vegetation. Number five. At the halfway mark, we have this amazing animal, the toad. This toad was caught on camera by a 50-year-old photographer who had been skiing on the ice. He was absolutely dumbfounded by the find in Norway near Oslo. The word toad is the common name for certain frogs, especially of the family Bufanidae, that are characterized by dry, leather-like skin, short legs, and large bumps covering their paratoid glands. Individual American toads return to their natal ponds to breed where they are likely to encounter siblings as potential mates. Although inbred examples within a species is possible, siblings very rarely mate with one another. Toads actually recognize and avoid mating with close kin. Advertisement is via their unique vocalizations given by males, and they appear to act as cues by which females recognize kin. Kin recognition allows avoidance of dangerous inbreeding, and consequent inbreeding depression for the species as a whole. Number 4. The number 4 spot goes to the homeless gray house cat that was caught in ice in Saltus, Italy, and eventually released with the help of warm water. He was actually frozen in the spot to the ice on the ground. The cat did not suffer, and soon found a new family to keep him warm from the outside elements. The cat, or Felis catus, is a small carnivorous mammal, and is the only domesticated species in the family Felidae, and is popularly known as the domestic cat to distinguish it from the wild members of the cat family. The cat is either a house cat or a farm cat, or a feral cat, which ranges freely and avoids human contact altogether. House cats are highly valued by humans for their close and comforting companionship and for their ability to hunt prey like rats or mice. About 60 cat breeds are recognized by various cat registries throughout the world today. It was long thought that cat domestication was initiated in the heart of Egypt, because cats in ancient Egypt were known to have been around 31 BC, but the earliest indication for the taming of an African wildcat, F. libica, was found in Greece and Cyprus, where a cat skeleton was excavated, close by a human Neolithic grave dating to around 7500 BC. African wildcats were probably first domesticated in the Near East. As of the year 2017, the domestic cat was the second most popular pet to own in the United States with a whopping 95 million cats owned in that year alone. Whoa. Number three. Here we are at number three. This beautiful animal is the donkey. And in this remarkable footage, we can see that three donkeys were completely frozen in ice in Turkey. The animals were so covered that when rescuers got to them, they were frozen in place. All of the herd amazingly survived, and they were taken to a shelter where they received important care. The donkey, or ass, Equus africanus asinus, is a domesticated member of the horse or equine family, Equidae. The wild ancestor of the donkey is the African wild ass, known as E. africanus. The donkey's been used as a highly recommended working animal for at least 5,000 years. There are more than 40 million donkeys in the entire world, most prevalent in more underdeveloped countries, where they are used primarily as drought or pack animals. Small numbers of donkeys are kept for breeding or as pets in the more developed western countries. Asses were first domesticated in or around 3000 BC, possibly in Egypt or Mesopotamia. They continued to fill important working and companionship roles in many places, even today. While domesticated species are increasing in numbers, the less frequently heard about African wild ass is an endangered species. Unfortunately, as beasts of burden and companions, these beautiful donkeys have worked together with humans for millennia. Number two. Here we are at our best pick, sent in by Damien from Finland. Hey Damien, these really are super cool. Thanks so much for your efforts. Damien found these pics online, and in the first one we can see a fox that's been trapped in the ice and frozen in time as a magical work of nature art, really. It looks so amazing and it seems so unreal, but it isn't photoshopped according to Damien's resources. Foxes are small to medium sized, omnivorous mammals, and they are kin to several generations of the family Canidae. Foxes have a flattened skull, triangular and upright ears, a pointed snout, and a long bushy tail, also known as a brush. Foxes live on every continent except that of Antarctica. By far, they are the most common and widespread species for their archetype. The global distribution of foxes, together with their huge reputation for being cunning, has contributed to their prominence in pop culture as well as folklore around the world. The second picture from Damien captures a Shetland pony. This particular pony is known as a skewbald because of its unique and interesting coloring. The Shetland Pony is a Scottish breed of pony, originating in the Shetland Isles, in the north of Scotland. The ponies range in height at the withers from approximately 27 inches to a permitted maximum 42 inches. They have a heavy, thick coat of fur and very short legs, and are considered to be exceptionally intelligent. They are extra strong for their size, and are used for companionship, riding, driving, and pack purposes. Number 1. We made it guys and gals, we're at the number one spot for the countdown, and we can't wait to show you what it is. Are you ready to find out the number one animal frozen in ice? We are too. The number one animal frozen in ice are these beautiful horses. Found in the fall of 2015, 42 horses were lost in Kazakhstan, in one of the small villages. Sometimes the local residents were aware that the horses might go missing, to find greener pastures. 
but they had been gone for a longer time and the search had not brought any real results. On March 27th of 2016, they were located in a swamp where they became stuck and unfortunately froze to death from the ice cold temperatures that were prevalent at that time of the season. What an eerie sight to see. How terrible for these beautiful creatures. The horse has evolved over the past 55 million years from a small multi-toed creature known as the Ohippus into the large, very singular hoofed animal we see today. Humans began domesticating horses in and around 4000 BC. Horses in the subspecies Cabalis are domesticated. Although some of the found populations live in the wilderness as feral horses, these feral populations are not true wild horses, as this term is used to describe horses that have never been domesticated. An example is the Przewalski's horse, a separate subspecies and the only remaining true wild horse known to man. There is an extensive, widely known vocabulary used to understand and incorporate these equine-related concepts, covering everything from their exceptional anatomy to their sizes, colors, lifespan, markings, breeds, movements, and behaviors. Woo! These were so unbelievably cool that we're going to spend the rest of the day searching for more. And then we better get cracking up on our next top 10 video. Thank you so much for being here to enjoy this countdown with us today. If you're interested in telling us what you'd like to see on our channel, just comment below so we can work it in for you, our amazing viewers. We'd also love you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel too. Then by tapping the notification bell, you're sure to know when our next video comes out. And you might even be the first to comment if you're lucky. That's a cool challenge, huh? We're going to see you real soon for our next video, folks. So stay happy and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.